Last time on Sailing Zatara. While on lockdown in New Zealand, we share with you how we stock up on groceries, get rid of rubbish, Keith reveals how he lost all that weight, and Finn brings us a little rock and roll. chain out because we got a big blow coming in this weekend and uh, I want to make sure I got uh, plenty of chain out for that the wind will be blowing like this yeah. so I think what we're gonna do Jack is we're gonna pick up the hook all the way and we're gonna go forward kind of closer kind of closer to the to the farm over there that way we've got plenty of room swing to because the winds blowing from the north and the west we want to have plenty of swing I don't want to be so close to the land if I let more chain out. Oh, yeah. If we drag, I want to, have to be able to have plenty of room between the shore and where we're at. So we have 53 meters of chain out, as you can see on our little oh. uh, remote here. We're cool. going to pull it all up and then let 70 meters of chain out. That's a grab. That's a hard, that's a firm grip. Yeah. yeah, we're pretty close to the muscle farm, Keith. Holy cow, we well, are close. What did we drag? We swung, and so now our... No, we've swung this way before. We're not this close to the muscle farm. I don't know. Dad's been watching it all night. He didn't sleep real good. So in the last video, I put little fun facts of everybody's favorite movie and favorite music, but, but I didn't have any clips of you, so you weren't really in it. So I don't have a favorite music or song or artist or anything but you listen to music what kind of music do you listen to like like in genres i don't know yeah Whatever. i listen to 80s i listen to pop i listen to just the everything everything <laughs> listen to jazz what's your favorite movie do you have a favorite movie pirates of the caribbean ah pirates of the caribbean just like jack yes wait really yep that's his favorite the whole series so we're not sure what happened to Zuko. He has a little problem. His uh, penis is leaking urine and he's got something wrong with him. He vomited a while ago, about 15 minutes ago. Yeah, he's, he's got a blocked 
intestine when I... He's I, got a blocked intestine, you felt it? No, I blocked the... Your bladder. Bladder. That's exactly what's wrong with it. And me. I don't know how to get him to a vet right uh, now okay, during... Well, we can't. So, the only thing I know to do... I was trying to think if we had some tube, we could we could run a... a how are you gonna do that? How are you gonna... Put him to sleep with that stuff you've got. Yeah, we have a sedative, but... And then, and then, but I don't have any small tubing, so I could run a... a you think it's blocked or you yeah. think it's ruptured? No, I don't think it's ruptured, I think it's blocked. I think when Finn stepped on no, him, something happened. Because if it was ruptured, it would be leaking into his body. It's well, how do you think it got blocked? It's not leaking into his body. How do you think it got blocked? I was reading, it happens in male cats, they get it. Especially if they have a history It was all of, of a sudden. Well, I understand. ureters or something is blocked or something there you go baby there we go come on push that plug out buddy do it do it do it it'd probably be nice if he goes pee like he'd probably oh yeah i'm just come gonna on, poop no, that's his poopy stance come on baby just go pee pee that's so sad dude what did what funnel did you use on that a good, a good one? I used the yeah. black one, the black can. Did it get fuel everywhere? No. No. No go? No joy? No, nothing. Nothing. Yeah. The, the vet explained the symptoms to us on the phone and it just perfectly matched up to black. And then I felt his bladder and it's as hard as a rock in there. Mm. And so he's uh, he's in a lot of pain and he's leaking a little bit from his mm -hmm. his, his eyes are shut. His deal. He's not feeling. He's not happy. He's in a lot, a lot, of, a lot of, pain. of pain. I'm surprised he's letting her pet him because he's been very. I want Bernie to use today, so if he's still. What, baby? <laughs> I want her to use it. I use it if he's still alive. If he's still suffering. Tuco, I'm so sorry. I don't know how this happened. Yeah. All right, till tomorrow. We're taking Zuko to the dock where the vet's going to be there to check him and probably euthanize him because he has a blocked bladder. And uh, it's very sad. He's been in a lot of pain for the last 24 to 36 hours. It's Easter Sunday. We're in lockdown level four, so everybody's weary of getting out. Uh, to unblock it, it costs about three thousand dollars, maybe to get that done, and then we don't know for sure if it would come back. So it's a very sad day. Right here, Jack Tyler. Suzu, you've been a good kitty. You're a good boat kitty. Sorry this happened to you. I think that what I do for him is that I take him back down and I try and unblock him. Hi, baby boy. I love you. Okay, my darling. Okay. okay. Coming to you live from Weather Central. We are locked down at Great Barrier Island. There's a blow coming through here right now. It's supposed to go till about two or three in the morning and uh, high gusts of around 40, 45 knots, possibly 50. We're not sure. We think Santa Claus got blown down here from the North Pole to the South Pole. It's blowing so hard. But um, as you can see on the weather, it's blowing through. We, we anchored pretty good. We chose not to move into another protected spot and uh, this is where we're at. So it's not as bad right now, a little rainy, but it could get a little Top of the highest we've seen is 30 knots of gust right now. So we're just, uh, we are uh, hoping we don't end up on getting Gilligan's Island. <laughs> yeah, you don't think we're dragging, do you? Mm -mm. Yeah, so I talked to the lady. She put Zuko under anesthesia, which basically means she knocked him out, catheterized him, emptied his bladder to relieve him of the stress, pain, pressure. That's good. And she's going to watch him for the next three days to see if he can pee on his own. 
-hmm. that will mean that he's probably better. If not, his kidneys probably failed. So the next few days we'll kind of see, but worst case, uh, well, no, not worst case, but it's actually not the worst case. No, he may have to, if he survives and he's okay, he may have to be on a special diet and have some kind of special pill. He'll have to go to a rich family that has a lot of money that I can take care well, of. Well, he just might not do good on a boat, so we may yeah. have to adopt him out. If he gets better, he's got to be somewhere close where there's a vet. <laughs> Look at that, that's what it is, 23 knots now? It's supposed to get up to about 40, gusting 40 maybe? Oh boy. We got 23 now, so it's picking up gradually. So the wind is picking up as forecasted on predict wind. We are seeing 30 knot gust. We might see 40 before the night's over. Hope we don't see 50. But at midnight it starts to turn. The wind turns to the west and uh, will be totally blocked from the wind. So we're just waiting on that to happen. That's good. What's it like? It's 8 o'clock right now. Wind is at 307 right now, 307 degrees, 3, 3, 305 to 310, 315. Once it clocks around to 270, we'll be in really good shape. Which of us is getting in the dinghy? Uh, well, we're just going to drag it over. I guess you will, Finn. Drag it around here. Yeah, I'm not. The lines are too short. I'll probably let go of it. So. You let go. Okay, Jack will help. I'll, uh, here. I'll get it. Uh, Kate was working on it. All right, he's got one of them on. Okay, Jack, come up here now. There you go, good job. Something happens, all we gotta do is buckle and pull anchor and yeah. what do you do? Turn the engine on and just reset, I guess? Yeah, but we're not gonna have to do that. Good. Stop bugging me about by the campus. You're being really annoying. You think you'll sleep tonight at all? Yeah, after midnight probably. After midnight. What you doing, Kate? Sorry about the light, but it's dark in here. Are you coloring? Oh, she's uh, coloring. No, I'm putting the dishes away. She's, oh, that's so funny. Her sarcasm is I'm definitely making up for Anna's lack of sarcasm. Out there, that, the, the shade on this side, on this side, mm -hmm. crawl up between our hatch there and tie those two straps down so they're not banging all night long. Are they in the middle? Yeah. You know, oh, the new, yeah, the, I got a light for them. Hidey hole in here. It's where Zuko like to hide. Oh, maybe he'll get better. I hope so.
ultramarine anchor is the bomb schnitzel. Yeah. Mm, we probably should have moved yesterday. It would have got us a better night's sleep. I and mean, it wasn't bad here. It, would have, it wasn't much wave action, but the wind sure got, got up to 42. And I think inside the bay there, it was probably pretty nice anywhere you wanted an anchor. But. Uh, Why didn't we go anchor over there? Well, we have good internet right here. <laughs> <laughs> There was a whole bunch of boats over there too, wasn't there? There was, there was. Not now though? Not now, I, I went in there in the dinghy a minute ago and if you go right in there, it's just glass. Really? In the lee, you can just sit there and there's no gustiness, there's none of this. Well, we could have went over there for the storm and then come back. Yeah, yeah. Oh well. Oh well. We held. We held, 42 knot was the peak. got an email from the vet it says hello Keith and Renee I'm sorry that there's been some post office problems with Zuko he pulled out his catheter overnight despite having an e-collar on and has reblocked I have considered giving him another anesthetic to recatheterize and the possible complications that would arise from this unfortunately I think he is going to have ongoing problems and that would make it difficult to rehome him hmm. I apologize for causing you more stress and pain but I think euthanasia may be our best may be our only option please ring me if you want to discuss this mm. and I told her go ahead and do it I told her to send me a picture of uh, she said she's gonna bury him out in her garden Good. and I told her to send me a picture of where she buries him hmm. Things Yeah, that's the that's the that's the thing with life, Anna. You never know what's gonna happen. I know, I know. You never know when you when, <laughs> when the last time you see somebody might be the last time. Hey guys, welcome to this week's edition of the Q&A. Joining me today is the Fininator and Miss Kate. We had some kid questions, so we thought we'd bring them up to the Q&A and ask a few of these questions. The first question rattling right out of the box is from Kasha. She's got a question and she wants to know, in the opening sequence of our, uh, our intro, who is the person that does not jump off the boat? Great question, Kasha, and I'll let Finn answer that. That's me. I, I don't jump off the boat because uh, I hesitated and I'm an idiot. So. so that's why he looks like he's the no fun party there. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for watching the show, Kasha, and thanks, thank your parents for watching as well. We're moving right along. The next question is for Sayla. Hi, Sayla. Hi. Hi. So I want to know how you guys are handling being quarantined on your boat, and are you able to go on land? Do you have to stay on your boat? What are you doing for fun? How are you handling, Kate? What are you doing for fun? Movies. If you're watching movies? A lot, lot, lot of movies. A lot of movies. Probably watch 10 movies this week. And Finn, what are you doing? Uh, playing guitar and uh, more video games. That's right, and and then obviously stainless steel polishing when you get in trouble. No, yeah, we they haven't get, done that in forever. They, they so when they get in trouble, they get grounded. We do stainless steel polishing, clean the bilges, all the fun stuff, right? No, we haven't done that in a long time. Okay, so, so the boat's looking crappy. <laughs> we haven't done that in forever. <laughs> it's because we're good kids. That's why the boat's looking <laughs> yeah. bad. Yeah. The next question comes from Meredith. Hi, Meredith. Hi. Hey. Uh, she is eight years old and lives in Rayleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh. Raleigh. Raleigh, North Carolina. How Kate and Finn keep in touch with their friends back home, and what is the biggest thing they miss about being away from the USA? Well, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Chick oh, I'm in love with Chick-fil-A. What we Chick keep in touch with, we use an app. It's called WhatsApp. It's a very accurate app. Accurate. And it, it's like a... It's really good. It's like the it's like iMessage, but better. Ben, well, how do you keep in touch with people? I don't, or I, I just use Instagram. I don't keep in touch with anybody back in the states, right? Except one of my I friends, do. and 
I could care less about the states. I only care about Chick Fil A. Suddenly, I need waffle fries in front of me with some nuggets and a large sweet tea. Oh, Chick Fil A, you set me free. Chick Fil A. I care that's a lot about the states. I have family there, so and I have friends there. So All right. Like, well, Ben has family there. I know, but it's like he doesn't. I have family. Him, so. I care about family. All right. All you guys out there watching the show. Do you like Finn with long hair or do you like him with short hair? Please long. let us know in, in, in your answers. Long. Long. Should Finn cut his hair or should he keep it long? Or should I cut my hair and keep it long? Okay, so he's going to keep her hair long. She's a princess. Once again, guys, <laughs> thanks for you all asking the questions. Send us your kid questions. We love answering those. And uh, you can find Finn on Instagram. Kate doesn't have Instagram yet. but I should. But Finn answers questions on his Instagram all the time. With that being said, you guys are done. You all can go back to playing. Okay, out. My tea. So I want to thank y'all for watching today, and we're going to jump right into the Q&A. First one is a shout out to Mr. Terry Sullivan. <laughs> Terry, you need to buy that boat and get out there on the water. Quit jerking around and, and, and waiting and waiting and waiting. Your kids are ready to go. You're ready to go. You need to get it done. Do the great circle. Get it done. And once again, thanks for watching the show, Terry. With that being said, let's jump into some Q&A from Mr. Gary C. <laughs> Uh, Keith, I have a question for you. Considering you've had the boat a year now, she's an older model. Yeah, she is an older model, isn't she? I like the older model. I like the 70, 73 models. How do you feel about the privilege? This vintage of boat, this, this 2006 model, they made, privilege made boats. I don't know all the years. I'm not an expert on the privilege brand, but I know that they were making boats from, uh, they've been making boats a while, but that boat from like the 90s to mid 90s up to about 2008 2009 they're all similar type boats whether it's the 496 or 495 or the, the basically the 40 footers the 50 footers and the 60 footer class boats that they made they are some well built boats i mean if i had to go buy another boat for what i'm doing i i, I wouldn't buy any other boat but this I, this this is my favorite boat i've been on a lot of catamarans and you know, even if it's just me and Renee on the boat, this is the boat we're going to have this this 585 privilege. It, it is so well built, so easy to work on. It's and, and people say, well, that's more boat than you need. Well, I'm I'm the kind of guy who likes to have more than I need because I don't ever want to be short on something and 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 be in a jam. So that's that's good. The, the, this boat, and this vintage of boat, was built so well. I mean, I just can't go on enough about it. They're not paying me to say it either. But the privilege vintage boats of the 2006 and back. So, uh, the ones I've been around are just solid boats. So great boat. And Gary, want to thank you for watching. I hope that answers your question. Moving right along. Next question is from Noah YP. Uh, do you guys ever look at potential future boats and will there ever be a trade up for something bigger and better? At this present, Noah, we are not looking at any bigger boats. We've got this boat right where we want it. We got it dialed in. It's a perfect boat. It goes as fast as a lot of the other boats we've sailed with, if not faster. Even the boats that have all the nice, beautiful racing sails, and they have all the kit. They have their boat all tricked out, and their boat should go faster. This boat just goes just as fast, and and uh, and speed isn't the real deal out here. But I, I don't want to move into a new boat. You know, I, I don't I don't look forward to that. And we're not looking for a new boat. We wouldn't downgrade from this boat, and we wouldn't upgrade from this boat very easily. It'd have to be a heck of a deal for us to move into a different boat and. Uh, It'd have to have all the qualities that we've put into this boat. So great question, Noah. Thanks for watching the show. Next question is from Living Hakuna. Do you have any security systems in place for the boat, such as cameras for when you leave and go explore? And how do you know when you have enough experience to do an ocean crossing? We probably do have some security systems on the boat. I don't really want to get into details about those because that would tell everybody how to get around my security systems. But do you need them on the boat? I don't think so. I think if, if you stay out all night drinking and partying and you leave your boat out in an anchorage, that's and it has a bad reputation you might get broke into because those people watch but we, we don't go out drinking and, and partying all night long so we're trying to be back at the boat and our kids are always on the boat or somebody's coming to and from the boat so that makes a lot of difference as far as uh, how do you know when you have enough experience to do an ocean crossing we had no experience and we started crossing oceans the experience you need to have when it comes to ocean crossings i believe is to know weather and to know when, when and where to sell. I've always talked about the when and where to sell. When to sell is based on weather, where to sell is based on navigation. So understanding navigation and understanding when to sell and understanding weather are the two most important things. The actual sailing of the boat, trimming sails, putting the sails out is the easiest part. I could teach a monkey to do it. 
but uh, I probably couldn't teach him well to do it because I'm not a good sailor myself. I'm not a racing sailor. I'm not this god of sailing. Don't want to be me and Renee. We don't pride ourselves on being these sailors who race and do all these things. That's not who we are. We're just using the boat to get from point A to point B as inefficiently as possible. <laughs> And so that's who we are, and that's what we do. Um, but yeah, I just when you know weather and you know navigation, you're probably ready to go, and, and you're never going to be comfortable until you start making a couple of passages. But uh, sailing is easy. Understanding weather is a little more complicated, but it's something you can teach yourself. And understanding uh, navigation is easy. You can teach yourself that as well. So thanks for the question, Living Hakuna, and we appreciate it. And thanks for watching the show. The next question out of the box comes from Mr. Edis Hottie. Hi, Keith. I'm interested to know the name of the app in your iPad you use for selling. That app is from Navionics. It's, uh, it's Navionics is what it's called, and uh, that's what we use. You can download that, and then you can buy a subscription to the, the charts that you want, and that's what most boaters out here on the water use is Navionics on their iPads and their iPhones. And they also have Navionics for your chart plotters and stuff like that. So that's what we use 90% of the time, and I'd say most of the cruisers out here use Navionics as well. Thanks for watching the show. That's going to wrap it up for this week's Q&A. We want to thank everybody for watching. Also, y'all just watched the video about Zuko. You know, we had to get a hold of a vet. We're in lockdown here in New Zealand. If we hadn't been able to get a hold of the, the, the vet, I would have had to figure out a way to put the cat down myself because I couldn't stand little Zuko being in pain. He was in so much pain, and, and it was my, uh, it was my uh, daughter's kitty. Yeah, I still get a little choked up about it because of my daughter, but uh, uh, it was it was a tough deal. It was really really hard, and uh, I don't want to have to go that go through that again. That was a bad deal, and it was hard on all the kids here on the boat. He's going to be missed for sure. Um, hopefully, we're all coming out of COVID nineteen, and lockdowns are starting to ease up. Life's getting back to normal for everybody. Once again, guys, thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you guys out there on the water.